Okay, I'm going to show you how to use Panther to do a, uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's a fun stereo trick. That sounds pretty lame, but let me show you how it works. <clears throat> what we have here is a stereo acoustic guitar track. Um, if you saw the last video, you, we adjusted the timing and the volume, blah, 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 to make it line up. Um, so this is, this is what we're starting out with. We have two microphones, one pan left, one pan right, on uh, an acoustic guitar. No other effects going on here. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new instance of Panther right there. Okay. So instead of working with our left and right channels. We're going to put this one in mid-side mode. All right. So what that means is instead of being left and right, it, we're working with our mid, which is our center channel, and our side, which is our side channels. Um, so if you want to hear what those sound, let's solo the mid. Basically, that's the mono-summed track. <laughs> The side is basically the opposite of that. Um, it's what would you get if you tried to sum to mono and flip the polarity of one of them first. It's a pretty nasty sound by itself, but when you mix the mid and side together, you get your original stereo track back. Um, so, so far it's not doing a thing. Um, but th what's kind of fun about having mid side is that we have this delay option here. Um, so instead of delaying the left channel, the right channel, we can delay the side channel. So yeah, let's do a quick let's show what that sounds like. Okay, so we're delaying it by you know, 300 samples. You'll notice that we no longer have two separate mics coming from the left and the right. We have a center channel and then we have kind of a room sound. So let's play this again. And the more you delay this, let's bring it up. And you can, you can adjust the volume of the side if you think it's too wide. Or you can bring the side up. What's fun about this is that it, you know, you're no longer working with a left-right channel. You're, it basically kind of sounds like you have a mic and kind of a room mic to work with. A close mic and a room mic, where your close mic is a mid and your room mic is a side. What actually is really handy about it is that you can, now you can use your, your normal pan, and as you pan left and right, you're not erasing one of the microphones you're just moving both of them left or right so let's see pan right whereas before when we're like this panning to the right basically just gets rid of the left microphone Get a nice full sound and a nice wide stereo width. Uh -oh. Personally, I like this a lot better than this. I probably would put this to lay down a little lower. And yeah, you can mess with the settings. You can try delaying the mid. That that sounds a little bit odd, but sound really low. And anyway, so that's how you can use Panther as kind of a, uh, to do a kind of a fun stereo trick that you couldn't do with other, with a normal left-right delay. <laughs>